Out 11, the GBI is investigating a deadly shooting in Clayton County. In just the last two hours, we learned the victim is an 18-year-old shot and killed by police. 11 Live's Cody Alcorn live in racks just feet from that house where the shooting happened. Cody, what have you learned so far tonight? Well, Jennifer and Ron, let me step out of the uh, shot right now. You can see the GBI is still on the scene investigating the shooting along with Clayton County Police. What I can tell you is four teenagers had broken into this vacant home here on Chippewa Drive, which is what led up to this deadly shooting earlier today. A neighbor noticing trouble around this vacant home reached out to Clayton County Police. At approximately 4.30 today, our officers responded to a suspicious person's call. Officers quickly surrounding this two-story home at the corner of Nogales Place and Chippewa Drive. And began to give verbal commands for the subjects inside to exit the house. Chief Kevin Roberts says an 18-year-old came out of the back of the home. At that moment, that officer gave verbal commands for that subject to stop because he was running towards the area where other officers were attempting to remove suspects from the residence. Seconds later, Chief Roberts says his officer opened fire. The teenager shot in the backyard. Three other suspects were removed from the house and taken into custody. Two other 18-year-olds and a 16-year-old. We see young adults committing crimes all the time in the metropolitan area, so it's unfortunate but those are the facts as we see them today. The GBI now investigating this deadly shooting. The end of that engagement was not to anyone's liking. We've lost a life and we value everybody's life and this is unfortunate. The 18 year old has not been identified, but a woman did pull up on scene just a short time ago and told me her son was one of the 18 year olds who was arrested here, telling me that her son and the young man who was killed here just graduated high school. Visibly shaken up, though, by all of this, she was heading to the jail to try to speak with her son. Tonight, a community grieving after deputies say a man went on a rampage, killing three people, including his own mother and cousin. It happened 24 hours ago at three separate locations in Palmetto and Bradenton. And this is Nightside. I'm Dave Wagner. And I'm Carolina Lee. Just hours into the rampage, authorities caught him near the Georgia border with intentions of killing an ex-girlfriend. And tonight, deputies say he died in a shootout with them. 10 Tampa Bay's Miguel Octavio joins us live from the Manatee County Sheriff's Office. Miguel, it wasn't the accused shooter's uh, first run-in with law enforcement. Yeah, Javante Bryce already had a history of domestic battery in the past, and it appears he posted updates on his Facebook throughout this alleged killing spree. Tonight, some of his own family members must be laid to rest after deputies say he killed them. Getting a 33 with injuries at Motel 6. Shots fired at the Motel 6 in Bradenton. There was a female that was shot in the back and neck. Deputies say it was here where 28 year old Javante Bryce shot and killed his own mother. Minutes later, they say he shot his cousin in Palmetto, then again in Bradenton, where he killed a partner of an ex-girlfriend. Our prayers go out to the families. Tonight, deputies shared the names of the people killed. Bryce's mother, Titi Maisha Scott, his cousin, Sequoia Starkez John Keela Bryce, and Jarell Carter, a partner of an ex. The sheriff believes Bryce was on his way to kill another ex-girlfriend. He appeared to post on Facebook throughout the night. This one tagged his cousin, writing, I love you, see you in hell. Another wrote, Pig, I love you, but you had to go. We don't know why he chose to, to kill. The sheriff believes the post could be key to knowing the motive. Last September, a police report states Bryce struck a woman in the face and also strangled her. In 2021, a petition for a risk protection order was filed. A detective believed Bryce posed a threat to himself and others. It is uh, awful and tragic, and it happens way too frequently. Mindy Murphy is the president of the Spring of Tampa Bay, which supports domestic violence survivors. She wants them to know help is out there but it is not your fault and there are services available. So please don't wait until it's too late. My heart goes out to this family. Um, uh, you know, they've lost so many loved ones. And Now, the sheriff adds there was also another person with Bryce, a woman inside the car when he was pulled over. We are working to learn more about her role in that alleged kill out over there. But police say she is cooperating in this investigation. Live in Bradenton, Miguel Octavio, 10 